Hi everyone. I'm gonna uh, make a, um, a video for the people that have one of these because um, I heard yesterday that some say they're a little bit intimidated about the machine. So um, <coughs> what I'm gonna do is um, do a cutout for jewelry but I'm going to show you exactly how it works. So I just put on the, uh, the machine you go to the home and it says okay the carriage will be put in the right place I say okay that's it now it's ready to go so I pick out a pattern and here you have everything you can pick out as you can see a lot quilting patterns and if you pick one like this one you have so many patterns to choose from Let's go back. We'll see this one. Um, cups, all sorts of cutouts, pretty cutouts. But right now we're just going to go to the um, the this one, the shapes. So pick the shapes. We're going to do a um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. They're pretty as you can see and pretty big because I want to um, do them on a beaded chain so I'm gonna do six of those no seven all at once so for that we go down to the oval here it is and I know my oval is 44 by 34 so all I have to do is do the width that's the longest bit that's going to be 44 so I hold it and there it is 44 but the height is 33 and I need 34 so what you do is press this button the one that has the arrow up up that way and down and that way that's the height and the width so I press that one and that allows me to just adjust one of them at a time so I'm going to give that an extra because it's 44 by 34 so now it's set and because I want to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 I will set it to 7 pieces see that? now it has set 7 pieces and there they are all in a row but we don't want them all in a row because we want them to cut out every single Yupo that I have here so that's when your mat comes in so I cleaned my mat as you can see it's nice and clean I'm hoping that it's sticky again so um, right now I'm going to just randomly put the Yupos on the mat very randomly and I'm going to press down and make sure they stick on the mat And I'm rubbing it down to make sure it stays on there. Now I'm opening up the machine and I'm loading my mat. All you have to do is put it in and press this button. There it is. It has loaded the mat. But as you can see up here, all my ovals are still in a row and we don't want that. So then you use this button. It's the scan button and I, I'm going to say or tell it to scan the mat this button turns green so when I push it it's going to scan the mat and it's ready now as you can see it has all my pieces of Yupo scanned in and still all my ovals are up there and they're sort of just in a row so what I want is I want one on every single Yupo I want one oval so I'm pulling them down as we speak 
one there and one here. Now, of course you can't see much because they're really tiny up here. So what we do is press this button, the top left button, and then I get to see my mat, but then I do a plus and there you are, it's even bigger and if I even need it bigger I say enlarge and there you go. Now I'm getting it in full focus and what I want out of this one because now you can look at the placement and you look at your Yippo and you know exactly where you want it. So this one I want exactly there. Go to the next one. Now this one is a little bit uh, different because I'd like it to turn around. So I'm not sure how we're going to get that. I don't think that's going to happen. Turning them all around. I can place them but I can't turn them. Let's see if that is possible. Nope. Cut area, blah, 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 blah. Draw speed, shut down, blade adjustment, scanning cutting position adjustment. Oops. Well, no, it won't do that. Don't know what it's going to do now. I hope it's not going to cut. And it is. Let's just stop that because it was really cutting lines. I don't know why I did that. So let's go back. Let's see. Okay. Now, can we move this thing somewhere? No, we can't. Okay, well, then we'll just have to do that differently, I guess, because, you know, if you have your. I could line them up differently because I know exactly where I want them to be cut. Let's see. Unload the mat. I think I'll have to put you guys on pause because uh, I'm gonna uh, rearrange my mat. Now I can do that. That one is not okay. It does stick though. Let's see, this one I want like that. This one I want up here. This one is okay. This one. off there because I want that one like that because you know um, I'm pretty sure that in a while I'll be used to all the uh, all the things it can do but for the time being we will just have to uh, help it along a little so I know exactly where I want to cut and they are all all the yupos I've placed them so that I can cut them like that this way around like this. Okay, loading the mat again. And we're going home. Delete all patterns, yes. So we'll do it again. We're going to do the pattern. We're going to go to the um, shapes. Going to the ovals. Going down to 44. I'm missing one here, so I press this button go up one and we are gonna set it and now we have to go back again because I forgot to put in one two three four five six seven 
so back home okay pattern <laughs> I'm sorry guys but this way you know exactly um, you'll know exactly what I what I'm doing 44 press this one one up so we have 44 34 and we want seven set scan the mat because I changed the uh, direction of the UPO so it has to scan it again I gotta be quick because I only got 18 minutes left that's it now we have them all up here so I'm gonna place one oval on every UPO again and then I'm gonna go in here and make it bigger there it is plus one so up here I want this bit and you can't I don't think you can see what I'm doing but this one I want it exactly here this one I want some of that dark in there this one I want that part this one I want that and this one has to go down a bit and here I want the dark part in there that's up here so we got it all um, exactly where we want the cuts made so I press OK and again OK let's see if we got them all yep and OK again and then we say cut zip now it's cutting Blop. Number two, and there's no way you can do this faster than a machine and more precise. And that's the last one. Okay, unload the mat. Now, let's see how it has done the cut. There's number one. I'll take that one out myself. There's number two. Let me get you up close. Now you can't see that. I'll get you down in a bit. And because of the... Um, the paint on the Yupo sometimes some will be a little bit thicker than the other and um, we'll just have to work with that so taking them all off this one the last one put that away and I had one where it was stuck in there let's see where is it here it is I'll have to do this one with a knife I see that it's uh, sometimes the paint is a lot thicker than um, than usual and I'll have to help that one a little bit because I don't want to put the depth of the cut too deep because I don't want to have um, my mat cut so I really want this one because this one's really pretty and it's just the last layer you know that it doesn't get right through now 
as you can see, perfect fit. And I'm going to give you a close-up as soon as I put these in where they need to be. Let's put them down here. And, of course, this isn't, you know, it isn't finished now. I, I Of course, you want to resin this and do stuff with it, but I might even sign these. I think that's going to be pretty. If I sign them first and then put resin on top. you got to watch out. This one is a... There you go. Put it in the frame. And I have one left. Let me take off a little of the... Uh, there it is. Get another one. There you go. Okay, I'll get you guys down and I'll show you a close-up. There they are. And that's my favorite. That's a really beautiful one. This has gold on it. This is gold. And this one is really pretty. I think my iPad takes better close-ups than this thing does. I can't really see if it's really sharp. I hope so. Let's see. Doesn't look really sharp to me, but I'll, I can do that later with my uh, iPad before I um, resin this stuff. So, as you can see how easy that was, um, taking one shape and um, uh, turning it, I'm sure it can do that, but I'll have to read the manual first, <laughs> because that's how it works. So I'll show you again, this one going down, that's it, set. Oh, I think that was it where uh, we could do that. Let's see. Why can't you go back? That That's something that I'd like to know. Uh, home. Okay. Pattern. Go down. That one. Oh, here it is. There. See that? That's where you can um, turn it around or whatever. See? Set it right up. 1%. Here you can really slowly tilt it, 10%. So that's pretty cool. That is cool. Set. Then you can add another one. It just goes a little slower, but you can uh, do that. See there you will have one that is level. Add another one go down and let's say we're going to rotate this one back like that okay set see there are the shapes and they're all differently tilted don't know what that is oh you can put them there or you can put them loose now i've got them stuck and you can pull them all over the mat Okay, so that was that. That was, um, oh, I cut some others out yesterday. See that? These are cut in one uh, go, but they were too big for the little uh, bezel trays because these bezel trays are really small. Okay, guys, thank you for watching, and I'm going to take it upstairs now, and um, we're going to do uh, finish off the resin painting, and... Uh, the resin I have left, I'm going to put some on those uh, pendants, and we're going to have a lot of fun today. So, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.